Hello, welcome to Play on Tabletop's live and uncut Conquest Last Argument of Kings. I am Tygo, the Child of Chaos, and I am so proud to be here with my friend Leandros. Now, you literally developed this game yourself. Like you, you're you're the you're the man behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. And uh, I mean, you challenged me. I got the. Ch I had to respond in kind. So I, I, I threw down a sweaty ogre gauntlet. Yes. So Taiko about that. If you, like if we Don't can make sure <laughs> to, to kind of like <laughs> calm on the on the on the oh, sweaty. Okay. On the sweaty I'm gauntlet. sorry about the sweaty gauntlets. I apologize. I apologize. But it got you here. Yes. So I'm going to call yes. it a success. But yeah, you you have brought us some fantastic new knowledge, mm -hmm. some brand new models, mm -hmm. and a new outlook. On conquest, um, what can you tell me about what's coming up? I see a lot of questions about Sorcerer Kings, so tell me a little bit about that. Just so excited, yeah. first of all. I mean, uh, so our newest, our newest faction, uh, and I'm seeing some questions. They're going to be part of our brand new starter set, yeah. fighting against the city states. So don't miss that. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see that. But today, we don't have Sorcerer Kings. No, we don't have. 100 kingdoms we do have city states yes yes yeah so what did you bring to this 1500 point tilt so i want to play something new something different for me mostly i've been playing city uh sorcerer king so i'm like i'm, I'm gonna go for something different a little uh -huh. bit here nice now i'm bringing my ari stark Ooh. supported by mighty phalangites yeah i'm bringing an eidolon supported by inquisitors and mighty hoplites oh my. i'm bringing a polymark supported by his own Ahima. It sounds dangerous. Therians. Oh, oh, that, that sounds really dangerous. Yes, that, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the Therians. Those are big bad minotaurs that do big bad minotaur things. And yeah, I hope they do enough big bad, <laughs> big bad minotaur, <laughs> minotaur things. Well, I am bringing some some not so big but very stout Dweg home. I get to play with two drakes today. So I have literally got the biggest, baddest armored drake with a ray on top coming at you super hard. Also a Hellbringer drake. The sorcerer is not riding this the Hellbringer okay. drake today. He's going to be with some, uh, some Belliste uh, and some Hold Warriors and just a few hot Automata. And that makes up my Dweg home list. But we didn't just bring all that. We actually have more wonderful, ba like the, the, the actual founder <laughs> of Parabellum is going to be joining us a little bit today. Um, Stavros, are you, are you up on screen yet? Say hello. I'm, am I up on screen? Am I visible? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's there. He's there. <laughs> so hey, you're the, uh, welcome. I, 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 what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Me? I'm keeping an eye on Leo. Oh, excellent, excellent. I'm making sure he represents. I'm making sure he doesn't lose. <laughs> he can get a little wild on his own, it's true. <laughs> Tycho, a lot of things are on the line. I need to win this. Okay. <laughs> Employment, <Tycho>. the future. <laughs> <laughs> Tycho, a lot of things are on the line. <laughs> well, we had a fantastic game yesterday. Yes. And uh, I learned a lot from that. You were really, really instrumental at improving my knowledge of the finer points of the command stack, which is a definite way to that, uh, apply yourself to this fantastic game. So, yeah, I'm super stoked about this. I can't wait to get started. Is there anything else we need to go over before we, we dive right in? Where are we at? <laughs> City States! Yay! Okay. <laughs> All, right. All right. So, so for this game, mm -hmm. we are going to be playing one of my favorite scenarios, oh, yeah, yeah. Maelstrom. Right. Right? So we have uh, three uh, objective, objective zones right in front of us. The middle one is six inch in diameter. The, the side ones is, are nine inch. Essentially, uh, what you have to remember is that we will be keeping track of which round we're playing. Yep. And so from the first to the fourth round and the ninth to the tenth round, we will be scoring uh, two victory points for, for seizing the center objective. Right. And one victory point for seizing either one of the side mm -hmm. ones. And the rest of the rounds, that scoring is inverted. Right. So we will be running to capture the side ones and only the, the, the poor lonely little ones. Yeah, little we'll ones only be giving us one victory point. Yeah, uh, but we can score right away, which is kind of unique about yeah. this. Yeah, we're scoring from round one, and I have been perfectly prepared for this with no lights. No lights. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. That, it's a balanced, ar balanced army list that right. really makes right. the, you know your, your. But no satyrs today. You're not. But no satyrs okay. today. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. I do have a couple of lights, okay. so I'm going to actually start the reinforcements. I do have to uh, make one roll. 
um, and see if I get my second light on. Hopefully not. I, <laughs> let's see. Uh-oh, missed the box. One more time. Low roller. That's a five. I failed to get my second light on. So, I think... What are you bringing? What are you bringing? What am I bringing, do I think? Yeah. I think I want my sorcerer on the map, so I think it's going to be the whole Belize day starting off. All right. My goodness. All right. Yeah. All uh, right. So we just need to figure out supremacy and get a move on. Anyway, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. Um, like, subscribe, and I, I hope that you enjoy our Conquest content <laughs> today. Cool. All right. Even if I go second, <laughs> I have no right to Right. Thing. So supremacy. <laughs> but nice. just for the <laughs> F5. I would still play second. Fair enough. Double march with some balliste. I've got a herald of magma in here. So these guys right. actually have a aura, aura of death. So that means that if uh, I can catch him unawares activating in contact with me, my hold balliste will hurt him badly. Right, right in the middle. Okay. Right in the like middle. It. No messing around. I need a tape measure. Make sure I'm not cheating. Oh, look at that. Where's that fight in the sage where I'm, that I'm going to need probably <laughs> get those uh, ballista off of me? All right. Indeed. Let's get down to my to roll for reinforcements for mediums, which is pretty much everything apart from the Therians. Let me bring. Uh, so for the Eidolon is going to be joining the uh, hoplites. Okay. The Agima is going to be joining uh, the the Phalangites in his, in his warband, and the Polymark is going to be joining the Agima. All right. Right. So essentially, I have here um, for mediums. I'm choosing one that I want to bring in, and that would be uh, my favorite. Let's see. Let's think. You don't have to tell me though. No. Yeah. Because because this could be secret information. He might be it tricking is. me. He it might is. even be lying. And then yes. I have I have three reinforcements. I might be lying. Is it suddenly a theory on the table? <laughs> Changing the rules to win is one of my favorite special abilities. That's the <laughs> beauty of being the rules writer, isn't it? Like, that's the whole idea. Changing them on the fly. All right, so you got right? three reinforcement rules to win. I'm here making sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> All right, let's and see. And that he doesn't talk about lore. Ooh. So I have one medium? one one medium that's coming. All right, I need to roll for my light because I'm not going to have him be the automatic. Mm. He's coming in on a four or less. He fails again. The Inferno Automata are still wandering around trying to figure out what's going on. And I have one medium coming in automatically. I'm going to roll for two more. Uh, no. Nope. All right. Luckily, my Inferno Automatic will come in automatically next round, because they're all tired or something. The pun, very much intended. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so how many how many Kamari cards do you have, sir? Uh, I have three. All right, okay, so I got two. I will be able to modify my Supremacy roll. Let's see it. Uh, so, a one ah, for me. It's all you. Yeah. So, as my for my first command card, I will be bringing in my regiment of hoplites. The hoplites. And yeah, that will be. And also, my you apologies, character friend. I forgot to bring my character. Oh shucks. Which no. means I would have three cards. It but wouldn't yeah, have yeah, changed anything. Yeah. All right, let's bring the hoplites. Now the hoplites are joined by my one of my favorite models, the models. the, the Eidolon. The Eidolon, yes. Yeah. Oh. He's a, a fantastic beast, is what he is. Who can just decide to be really, really mean to me. For a minute there, I was not able to see my own models. <laughs> They'd faded into the background, they? Haven't they faded. <laughs> we haven't even started playing yet, and they all have already started being afraid. They're afraid of coming onto the battlefield. What's, oh. what's that about? Turn two. We almost forgot to keep track of the turn. Yeah. All right. Thank you, chat, for making sure we know. Brendan Butters. So I'm going to double march. Now, uh, I'm going to double march. I'm feeling there's going to be a lot of shooting coming in from that from that center. It's possible. So let's see. I will be, I, I don't think I can fit four stance here the way oh, I want that, to. That's the tight side for you, is uh, it? But, yes. But given that I don't. You've got great supporting attacks. Yeah. You shouldn't worry too much about that. I don't have a command stack, so that helps. Command stand, sorry. Right. So that helps uh, here a little bit. So actually, I'm going to bring them three wide. Now, in this case, um, the... Oh, uh, big, hairy unit. 
Yeah, the unit for the Eidolon right now doesn't really matter, so we can just skip that and... Go. They were a little ambitious, were they? Yeah. <laughs> I wish. I wish they would go that fast. But not to, to the races? Not today. <clears throat> and that will be my hope lights. All right. I bring on my Hellbringer Drake. Perfect. Hellbringer Drake. Hmm. <laughs> Do I want to face hoplites with a Hellbringer Drake? I don't know. I'm not sure. That could be fun. But I have a funny feeling I'm going to get better firing lines on this side. So I might avoid the nasty, nasty Eidolon and his hoplites. Go this way. All right. So double marching because I don't have much else to do. Mm. I don't get my uh, <clears throat> overcharge because I'm walking off the map. But a double march puts my hell break right there. Perfect. All right, so that will be my next activation, the Inquisitors. Ooh. Now, I do not particularly like where you brought your uh, Hellbringer Drake, sir. It looks like that Inquisitor forgot his pants. We don't talk about this. We don't talk about that, I don't know. We do not talk about, <laughs> about the, their pants. It's a long story. <laughs> long story. Remember the cloak forgot the pants. That's so how it goes some I'm going to... Um, oh, they're hiding. Yeah, I'm going to move a little... I'm going to double march. Right. Um, and then I'm hoping to hide a little bit, like so, and hopefully where these Inquisitors are going to commit is going to be future Leah's problem. Right. Right. <laughs> you haven't got there yet? We, we haven't, have we haven't decided. <laughs> you decided you don't want to get shoot by a giant This dragon. is uh, okay. our mission for now, yes. <laughs> Brilliant planning. Yes. Off we go. To the Hold Maliste. Well, I'm too far away for a shot. Yes. So I think I might just have to wander forward on the double march. Because mm -hmm. nothing is threatening me yet. And I kind of want to be up in good places. Or is it? It is. Hmm? It is. Let's <laughs> All right. Mm, they can't actually even capture territory. That's okay. Yeah. I'll have, I'll have them just a little ways back from where they could go. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get them in too much trouble right away. Yeah. I think you have a, a good line of fire there because uh, there's nothing that will be able to come into this objective zone without at without least... Without exposing yeah, themselves. Yeah, without at least... Uh, or already... Exposing them. <laughs> let's not talk about the pants. Not talking about the pants with Inquisitors. <laughs> right, so let's, uh, now that will be the Eidolon, and the Eidolon will look great for the camera. Excellent. He's, he's doing posing? Yes. With all uh, of his all, arms? All four arms. I, don't, yes. I, can't, I can't do that. Well, so. You might have to come behind me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that would be weird. Yeah. All right, the Tempered Sorcerer, I think he's far too far away he to is any of his far. magical goodness. Yeah. We're not going to be shooting nobody yet. So that is the end of my activation. Yes. What's happening? Oh. I'm confused. Oh. <laughs> I was looking at the chat, maybe they were questioning. Oh, oh the chat, yes. Is Hello, the Leo. island supposed to be in the middle? Uh, so, yes, actually, when you are bringing in your character stands, you have to share the center with the command stand. In this particular case, uh, the command stand is, they're sharing the center in a three, uh, let's say, uh, with the leader. The city-states have an interesting uh, uniqueness to them, that they often mix it brutes in good. with infantry. It, it also looks good on the camera. It does look good on camera. So, this is another special rule. <laughs> Just <laughs> like you, Leo. Just, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you, sir. Okay, so, uh, let's do now reinforcements for our, for our next round. Oh, we're done. Okay, yeah. sorry. I thought we were, no, I thought no. you, you, were, you, were, you were fondling some cards. I was no, expecting no. more. I was not fondling Oh, sorry. Any, anything. Is that not the way to <laughs> <laughs> talk about that? <laughs> so I'll be bringing in one automatically, and I will have Leo's to roll. very careful with his fondling. <laughs> I will have to roll. <laughs> for my, okay, He's so. He's learned to be careful with his fondling. Uh, I oh have my. to roll for my one medium. Yes. And no. he will not. Not today, not, not yet, not yet. Not today, but the heavy is coming on on my. Let's see. Oh, you roll. No, the heavy. Oh yeah, he gets helps. I'm bringing my heavy on automatically. I have to roll for two mediums still, because mm -hmm. the light comes on automatically as well. I get one of the mediums, so some of the hold warriors, but not all. I'm gonna have one little unit of hold warriors. Yeah, I, sometimes I roll out of habit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. Just just tossing dice. 
All right. All right. Let's see a little bit. Uh, let's think. This is hard. Mm. So at the supremacy phase, I will have to choose a bat, like a mode for the Eidolon. But for now, first of all, uh, so if you make sure make sure to keep track of your reinforcement line. If you want to bring something from the sides, uh, my reinforcement, reinforcement line is my reinforcement line right now is pretty straightforward. So um, yeah, it's, uh, to not, be frank, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not I'm gonna not, care too much about I, it. Right? Maybe yeah. the Inferno one, maybe, but they're light, so they can't capture. I don't know, maybe. So let's see. Um. So Leo is pondering his stack. I, I'm, I, I'm no. trying to figure out the best way. Normally, I like to put on my reinforcements mm -hmm. last, so mm -hmm. I get a lot of information yeah. and I'm able to put them in good spots. But this also means that my shooting units are going to be forced to go first while you're still out of range. So it's a, it's a, it's a hard balance to make sometimes. All right, first game against City States. Yes, Super J, I think you are correct. I've been playing with the City States recently. So, yes, this is, I think the first time I'm actually getting to face them, which is kind of fun. Right. right, so I'm I'm ready for our... Me supremacy. too. Yeah, Let's see I will how have it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six command cards. Seven. You get the right. bonus. Let's see. I'll be a two. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Do I one. get the one? I don't. All right. So I have to choose my... Um, my mode, my combat directive. All oh, right. It won't really matter uh, right now. We're just gonna go. Get stuff. To greetings to a fellow general. That's, that's a good just, one. <laughs> just out of like <laughs> saying hi to you. Hello. Right. Hello. So let's activate our first command card. That will be the Inquisitors. So this is a little bit of a hard one. Um, Stephen Jones, I am actually working on a bit of an ASMR uh, re look at some of our old. Um, our old battle reports. We're going to do ASMR battle reports for you. So maybe that will help put you to sleep. I'm excited about that. So that be, uh, I'll do a double thing. march with my Inquisitors Ooh. here, and that will be my activation. Now, are you close enough to the center objective? Uh, no, I'm not close enough, but I'm not hoping quite. I'm not close enough to dying to, to uh, I don't think a line is drawn. I might have to move first. You I might have know. to move. That's yeah. probably going to be the case. Yeah. Um, but that's going to give me the... Do I want objectives or shooting? Mm. You gotta make decisions, tough decisions. So let's find out. The Hold Warriors. Let's see. All right, so this is a big pack of Hold Warriors. I'm gonna wander up this way. Mm -hmm. Do Hold Warrior things. We're gonna have to do some hard fighting when the Iron Club comes in. That's the idea. Give you bad decisions. Oh, this Hold Warrior dropped his shield. I think he'd probably get fired if that actually happened in, in the hold. Oh, thank you for the, for the terrain uh, comment. <laughs> yeah, usually, usually Conquest is played with more terrain that you, know, you might be used to. Uh, essentially, it's all about you know, creating these corridors and using the entire table, so that's very interesting to see. Um, and depending on you know, the scenario that you're playing, you shouldn't also be afraid to use some zonal terrain closer to the the objective zones. Right now we're mostly going for size three, blocking line of sight impassable, right? Right To fit the theme of our uh, Rocky Canyon uh, battles. And very similar uh, terrain to another battle we mm. perhaps mm. might get to play. Mm. All right, so. Yogi Dash. Mm. I, th I don't know if there's an all female army type yet, but stay tuned for ghouls. Actually go check out the website. There's some fantastic new ghoul models for the Sorcerer Kingdoms. Cool. Anyway. All right. So that will be that was your activation mm -hmm. there. I'll be bringing in my Agima. Uh, the Agima. So March of six. Now, uh, I'm gonna try, hopefully, to fight in this <laughs> fight in the shade a little bit. I don't like the idea of having to bring them across your uh, Hellbringer Drake. Mm. It usually doesn't work very well. But <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to slowly advance them right in the middle. Hopefully, my fluid formation will let me choose flanks a do, little do bit later on. Do some dancing yeah. around. Excellent, excellent. So, dancing around, yeah, it is a part of me. <laughs> oh, Jamie, yeah, check out uh, Baron of Dice. Okay. They might have the orange and gray play on dice you're looking for. 
Actually, all of our dice are barren of dice. Dice. That, that, that's a, that was an English sentence. It didn't sound like one, but I think it is. <laughs> all right, so let's move up to about uh, here, under the cover of this mighty tactical boulder. Oh, yes. The mighty tactical boulder. The mighty tactical boulder. Oh, those guys are quick and they're mean. They, they, hit they are quick. They are mean. Cleave one will help. Also, staying out of line of sight will help as well. Hopefully. Carlos Padilla, Hopefully. you are very correct. There have been some very interesting stuff in the background of Stavros's feed there. There's uh, some, some really cool stuff he's put up. Uh, uh, spoilers, maybe. Not spoilers. Teasers, that's the one. Teasers. <laughs> All right, my Bargnant Ray is not on the table yet. Yes. So he kind of uh, gives a haughty glare from way over there. Yes. Uh, so let's see. Hoplites. Hoplites. Ooh, where are they going? Off um, they go. <coughs> they will be left in my strategic stack. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So you're going to put those aside. They'll be yeah. able to activate later yes. in a double activation at yeah. your choosing. Hopefully, win some time. We'll it's, a, it's a really great way to show off the generalship of yes. the city-states. I like that. The Ironclad Drake. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Do I just get into scoring position, or do I try for a pot shot? I uh, think Ironclad if, Drake, you have to... It's the, uh, no, I am so, the so sorry. I totally misread. I saw Drake and got all excited. I chose the wrong Drake. Happens to the best. Happens <laughs> to me all the time. <laughs> Huh. Where to go with an ironclad Drake? The actual answer is wherever he pleases. That is true. <laughs> so. That's very true. I can move and even charge through my own units. So I think what I'm going to do. So it's an imposing model. It is an imposing model, yeah. yes. Yes, especially when there's a ray on top. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> so 14 inches. Going to put him in support position mm. behind his sorcerer friend. The dragon yells at them to aim better. I don't know if it's helping. <laughs> <laughs> be better. Do better. All right. So let's see. That will be then my activation. And I will go for the Eidolon. Eidolon. Which will continue greeting the fellow general. Hmm, hello. Although outside of uh, left way side. Way over there. But yes, in the general direction. Sense greetings. Prudence being the better part Prudence. of valor. Here we go. There's the Hellbringer Drake. Hmm, aggression or not so aggression? I think it's aggression. Please I don't no, think the two points are worth it right like, now. There's never a question with me. <laughs> you know me too well. <laughs> so uh, your joy event in this case will be overcharge? Yes, so I will overcharge for one. So you would be overcharging? Boop, 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 boop. I, I would not mind if you didn't, but you know. <laughs> but boop, 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 boop. Yep, no, I'm we'll overcharging. Work, getting that armor piercing two and those plus two attack, plus if two shots. You go seven. You put him when monsters in 100k. Full of monsters in 100k. Ash and Dawn, their name is <laughs> riding horses. But well, he'll march once and see if he can get the. Yeah, gotta stop bending it. There we go. Get the line of so for a command stance, uh, recent update has changed to that essentially. You're going to the middle, you're sharing your, the center with a character stance. They have to be right next to the command stand. It looks a little bit cooler, essentially, in this case. Now, I think I can just draw a line of sight 16 inches there. Uh, sir, I believe you do. Okay. I tried. So, I'm going to use my overcharge token? No. Yeah, no. but I can't aim, so it's not going to be like a full meal deal shot. But this is still 12 whole blasts from the Hellbringer Drake. Uh, I believe Hoping for my evasion to help. It, it, it will. Better than not having evasion. If you're playing Conquest, always make sure to have your handy reference with you, right? Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. And I'll if you're that. playing in tournaments, it's super useful. The tournament organizer can just scan this and immediately register you in the tournament. So this is super helpful. Make sure you always have one with you. Helpful to everyone involved. I know, right? Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to double sure that I'm at the two. Uh, yes, volume two. All righty. Ooh, not a bad shot at all. Very pleased with that. Very, very pleased. 
Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven hits. At right, penetration so, uh, so two. I guess the only uh I guess the only good thing here is that the armor piercing wouldn't make much of a difference no. because of evasion. Yeah. But the extra hits I'm not too excited about. Ooh. Uh okay, so let's see. Uh that'll be evasion two, ones and twos. That's not bad. No, yeah. Uh so four wounds. Four wounds, not bad. That was four wounds. Two. Is that bring enough bring out a stand? Uh, I do not believe so. Be close. Uh, do it's not be close. believe so. No. No. Because they have uh, what you call it? They have five wounds each. That that is a good way to not die. To uh... so I've taken four wounds here. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately. Excellent. Excellent shot, sir. Go, Heldrick. Go. Didn't go as bad as I would. I was afraid of him. You were afraid <laughs> of just picking us up. I was quite afraid. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right. So my Minotaur theory. Uh oh. So here's the here's the problem that I'm having. Ooh, I like problems for you. Uh, yes, uh, and I you're right. So my Minotaur Therians, uh, I need to bring something that kind of plays from this flank because I, you cannot have complete immu uh, like. Uh, you don't want impunity. to be to sit on an objective and yeah, blast like, away. I have to bring, bring something, yeah. but I'm not sure if the Minotaur Therians is the right regiment for that. Okay, interesting. And the way that I have positioned myself. Is not great, folks. <laughs> so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna go off on a whim and see perhaps um, if I can. Oh, oh! You poked yourself with your phalanges. <laughs> they stop Drakes. They also stop me. A constant fight. <laughs> I actually go cut. Yeah, I, I've been I've been actually physically stabbed. By those I was myself. stabbed by my own forces. <laughs> this isn't this isn't good. Friendly fire. So let's see here. Uh, let's so, see where we're gonna go. Just so everyone knows, the the Fenangites are, are have beautiful long pikes for those models, and actually specifically sharp tips on those. Oh, so you are going for it. Yeah, and I want to see something here. Yeah, it looks uh, like. No, no, no. Yeah. He's out of line of sight. Um, yeah, and, you're, and I'm too far away, so I'd have to move to shoot that. Yeah. Uh, okay, you know something? Hmm. Risk is what we like to take. Now, I should probably be measuring my march distances. As well. <laughs> it's always handy. But look at that. Perfectly measured with the eye. Yeah. Fantastic. The Therians. These are some of the nastiest chargers in the game. I love them. Uh, moving right along to the Hold Beliste. Now, I think I have a beautiful shot here. You do. With everybody involved. You do, you do. To do an aim and fire. So a, uh, an aim action into a fire action. Yeah. At your uh, You'll be uh, looking course. at threes or under, unless I am seriously mistaken. Uh, I believe you are correct. I'm gonna make sure that holds the same. I'm gonna do the. Are the packs um, metal or plastic? They're plastic and they're stabby. <laughs> they're very stabby. They're very stabby. But surprisingly sturdy. Know, Having right? assembled a whole lot of them, I haven't broken any yet. I know. And they're quite long. It's Having a... been attacked by, by a lot of them, <laughs> I have not been. I have not broken any other. <laughs> All right. How many shots? This is barrage three. So nine shots, uh, ten with the um, leader. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're not in effective range, so that'll be uh, three, six, nine, ten. Ten shots total. Please run. Here comes just the um, police day. That is correct. Hitting on threes. Go, Warriors, go! Do, 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 do. Another solid shot. That is some pretty good shooting. Not Tygo. too shabby at all. Uh, Four, five, six. My I believe they penetrate one, but you've got a good yeah. one to the twos. Ooh. That is Ooh. five wounds. Ooh. One goes and uh, to the side. And you One. know what? I'm not even done because my sorcerer is in range. Of he shoots course. Too. Of course he is. And he's very upset with you. He's got volume three, so I'm think on fours or less here. Uh, that would be correct. Yes. Does he have volume three? All of them hit. Look at them go. How yeah. many? How many? Five. Full five. No penetration here, though. Wouldn't make much difference. Okay. In this particular case. Okay. Okay. Uh, two wounds here. So I've got three left to finish that guy off. I think that you are. Oh, yes, you are just within fire range. And broken. You are broken too. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You've been you've been eating the long range fire of the Dwegholm. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Powerful. Powerful. Excellent. 
All right, so that will be then my hoplites left. Indeed. And so let me think. I'm going to have to move quicker. Up to. Up to. And at the same time, avoiding getting stabbed, both by Dragom and my own forces. <laughs> avoiding getting stabbed. It's a time honored tradition, yes. Oh, yes. <coughs> Oh, the into problem position. is, while you're dodging the stabs, it's the bludgeoning and the slashing that gets you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. That is how it goes some days, yes. <laughs> and we're still in round three, aren't we? This is actually very early on still. Uh, to, to help, it's, it's command stance. If you want to, I can, you want me, let me do that to help people. I try to make us, uh, to make it look cool, cool. Oh. For the for the thing, well, yeah, it's command stance that go the chat. The chat question is correct, oh. and that the uh, character essentially have to be next to the command stand. I see. But I like it; looks really cool for the for the battle, so that's why I go for it. But well, we wouldn't want to to do things wrong. All right. So uh, the effects of being broken here that will be until the end of the round. So that will be uh, that will be okay for us. Now. I, I'm not done. Oh, oh, sure. my sorcerer will finish him off. Don't oh. worry about being broken. You won't have to deal with that for long, I promise. Right. So, I'm going to cast a, I think it's a Coruscation, because mm -hmm. my Fireball doesn't need the penetration against you, because you're yes. too dodgy anyway. I'm so, dodgy. I am, hmm, do I use my Graft of Fire? He's only got three wounds left. Hmm, hmm. Yes, I use my Graft of Fire. Of course I use my Graft of Fire. So this is going to be a total of nine dice, I believe. Nope. No. Uh, Eight dice. Got a wizard seven. I'm adding one with my graft of fire. Uh, so I'm gonna have to take a resolve test at the end of this, and I might hurt myself, because I'm angry and I'm a dwarf. So. <laughs> and on fire. Uh, I do get to reroll two for my focused. Yes. So, and I believe it is a four or less on the. Yep, a two and four on coruscation. Wow. 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 That's all of them. Eight. All of them. How many? Eight. Leo, this isn't looking good. <laughs> Burn! The problem is there, there's no... Can I... Can I... <laughs> oh, oh, he's going to make some secret rolls. <laughs> oh, he rolled well, too. Well, not well no, enough. Not, not enough. <laughs> the Inquisitors... Torched. Ah, that's what you get for not wearing pants to work. That... <laughs> that's what happens. <laughs> This, I've been you, sent home you, for you, that. Get, no. you get shot. <laughs> get shot. Good lord. <laughs> That's harsh punishment, but I suppose it happens. All right. Wow. Okay. That is end of round uh, three. Not quite. Oh, sorry. I keep. I keep. In These are some it's of my favorite models. Wishful thinking, Leo. It's called wishful thinking. Wishful I know, right? Thinking. But now, do I need help against that Eidolon, or do I try and protect my Helldringer Drake from the charging Therians? I, you know what? It's, it's not even a question. Those Therians scare me. So, I can come in about here, and double march from there. Let's see. 14. So I'm using my line of march here. Yeah. And then they can go 14. Yeah, and so think that when you're wheeling, you just care about where that point that started the wheeling started and where it ended. So don't worry about uh, measuring the curvature, just uh, measure the straight line, yeah. So a little something like that. And I'm um, hoping that still puts me well out of charge range, easy charge range anyway, yeah. of your theory. So they move six? Uh, 14. Yeah, that will take you a little bit further. Was, that, yeah. was I too far for it? Yeah, but you're, you're, you're fine there. Okay. Something along like that. Right, there I am done my command stack. All right, now I have one card left to play. Is it a medium? Be, yeah, it was the, the polar mark. There's no. Oh, 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 you have a polar mark, right? Yeah. Him. But, yeah, but it will not be uh, too much matter. And then everything comes in automatically for Indeed. me. Indeed. Yeah. I am. Uh, Fully prepared myself. Fully prepared. We're going into round four. 
which is the last round that we are scoring two victory points to the sides. Sorry, th this is the last round that we're scoring two victory points in the center. So we will start uh, scoring. The sides become important right about now. Uh, the, the sides become very important right about now. That is correct. And if I'm correct, I'm within 16 of your... If you're correct, you might be correct. Can you double check uh, that for me? I don't want to be taking pot shots from downtown. Uh, so it seems you're oh, like oh. slightly out. Two millimeters, folks. Two millimeters out. That was not intended. <laughs> that was not intended. Brilliant move My on the part. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's see. And how fast do the Therians move? Six. Six. Yeah. And they charge D6. So, yeah. You could um, march charge. Well, there is very little way otherwise, yeah. But what I'm thinking now. My warlord is the Eilon, for all of you looking, uh, thinking what my next move might be. The warlord is the Eidolon. Uh, I guess he picks what he's up to at the end of us picking the commands. Steps. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have one more. Which, this is a very tough... Um, Very tough? Yeah, okay, so <laughs> let's do the following. Um, Rocket Hobbit, thank you so much for noticing the uh, effort we put in. We really appreciate it. Leo was banned from spoilers? What did you do? <laughs> We're not going to do a long story. <laughs> it's the life. The life? Ah, uh, the life. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Two, two, three, four, five. All right. So for my Eidolon, I'm going to go with the cleave uh, move. Okay. Actually, uh, no. I will go for my. Uh, I will go for my parry. Actually. Yep. I'll go for my parry. Get them parry arms. Dodging. Parrying away. Yeah. Going the General Grievous yeah. route? The General Grievous route. <laughs> oh, defensive over there. That's interesting. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, uh, it, they're not going to, they're not going to, to, to make a charge, definitely, this round. And, you know, like, the cleave was just because it's cool. But then, thinking that, probably I will get charged. It's possible. Going for the parry. Possible. Although, the way is out. We'll see. We'll see. We shall see. Oh, there's difficult decisions now. Yes. Now I'm all confused and confuzzled. I hope we get a Leo lore happy hour on April 1st. Yes. Okay. No, I will host no, it no, no, no matter no, no. what. Not happening. That will never happen. I'm already making my tinfoil hat for, oh, no. <laughs> for my uh, for my conquest conspiracy theories. <laughs> or are they? Stay what tuned for April first. Leo, 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 not so happy hour. <laughs> hour of absolute reveals. Hmm. The Eidolon is always going the general give you street. Yes. Let's see. Will the future of the five, will cause some seven. explosive reciprocation for action? I don't see the entirety of the of the question. So is it is it um I don't see the, the whole text. So is it maybe uh lore related or is it uh yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh. So I'm not sure. Like, do you mean like explosive dice, maybe? Which is explosive and explodes. So maybe explosive. Oh. Oh. Well, the 
The grenade firing mercenary crossbowmen would probably do it. Grenade fire? Ooh, <laughs> just that's a Rambo crossbowmen. <laughs> I love it. Just kidding. All right. Nothing. Uh, nothing on the horizon yet. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do like this. We're gonna do like that. I think that makes me ready to go. All right. Sorry. So we got one, two, right three, now, four, five, six. Yes. Uh, I go seven command cards. Uh, I think I may have one more. Probably. Five, six, seven, eight. Yep. All right, let's do it. Uh, that was a six for Ooh, me. Ooh, and a four. Ooh, right. I'll take it. You get to play first, sir. The Hellbringer! No! Yay! Don't you dare. I am definitely going to dare. But you are daring. I am daring. He gets a little move after yes. he pumps himself up, which is going to use immediately. I'm not going to lie. I was hoping to move and charge. So I would engage it. Well, but you can still do that. Yes, as in <laughs> a little bit more cooked. A little bit, yes. A wait, little wait. bit more medium rare <laughs> than what I began the, the, the round like. We're hoping for more steak, <laughs> less... Uh, it's medium rare and not well done. <laughs> not well yes. Done. <laughs> uh, you you will have an overcharge marker. I did, I just it? used it. Okay. It came, it went. It was it so came, fast. Went. <laughs> yes. Like the summer dew. Uh, so 12 shots. Yes. Hitting on twos. Tw yeah. Bah, kaboom! Ooh, not too shabby. Not great, but not too shabby. Not two sixes. Only four. All right. Only four. You know, I'll take what I can. Uh, so I got evasion one. Yep. So at least I have. Um, yeah, let's see. It will not matter. Okay. I blast um, a minotaur a bit, but but I'm only I have six wounds each. Yep. They are so beastly. I am I am slightly rare. <laughs> I'm rare. He's still Chicago blue right now. <laughs> oh right, yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, it's still it's still rare. Still, it's still rare. rare yeah. Uh, yeah could, yep, yep, yep. Okay, so Ethereans, ah, see. Who knew? Who knew? Right, right. So here's my problem. My problem now is that. Um, my problem now is I don't want to put them in the strategic stack because I have a plan for them. You have a plan Ooh. for the strategic stack in general. But uh, uh, what's your march on the Inferno Automata? Seven. That Ooh. is a seven. And so we are 17 away. Um, so seven, let's make it a little hard. That's a three inch I'll go a little bit over 11, since so you need a four. Do you, do you have unstoppable? I'm not sure. I don't think so. So I'll double Mart's up to, let's see, a little over 11. Um, actually, Fluid, fearsome, irregular, or uh, impact, no. Actually, no, I'll move all the way up oh, and go that. for the, uh, and go for the objective. All right. That's a double march. Yeah, that, was, that is my double march. <coughs> Fantastic. So I start from about th there. Yeah, I can go all the way up here. Cool. Uh, I'll try to have everybody within uh, within range of the objective. Yeah. Definitely, you are there. Be aggressive. Yeah. He's going for it. My rare uh, troops. Rare. <laughs> sees the <laughs> rare for now. They'll be getting <laughs> cooked. Tenderized as we go on. Yes. yes smoked yes. throughout ooh, the game. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, smoked. Hold, warriors. Hmm. Well, see, I could come up here and get myself in big trouble. Yes. Or I could bring on more hold warriors. So I think I might do that. But that's kind of tight. Uh, I don't think yeah, I can get you, in there. You are not going to be able to maneuver. No, I can be able to get in there. They might be on their own, or at least backed up over here. So I think they're going to have to come up the middle. Yes. Hold warriors holding things like shields and axes. You know who you are. I do. No, no, no. You know who you, who you are that asked the question. Oh? Uh-oh. What's the question? They know. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. He linked! <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of that in this game about who, who gets the impulse first and, like, <laughs> yeah. a, lot, a lot of eyeing down your opponent and hoping they do what you... Want them to do. <laughs> Find out if Tycho has learned the joys of fluid formation shenanigans. I don't know about learn, but I'm, I'm trying. I'm getting there. 
We are not going to be too shenanigany yet. Shenanigany. <laughs> Is that a... I will, yeah. <laughs> An advanced term. An advanced term. <laughs> advanced conquest term. So my next card will be Ahima, and I want the Ahima to go into my command stack. And oh, you can that's stack. smart. That's smart. You don't want to, like, get shot for free. Yes. Is what I'm understanding. Okay. Uh, uh, Yogi Dash, you have a little bit of a uh, an uphill climb against you, but I think that we can convince him. I think we, the TAC should be playing Conquest. What what armies do you think TAC would like the most? That's that's the question I think that we should be having. Mm. Taika, what's the wager? I want to go to Greece, TAC. You're going to send me to Greece? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll put something on the line. Uh, sorry, I was to make a mess. Winning I army gets things. nerfed in the next update. <laughs> That's definitely tax style. More hold warriors. Well, I guess I got a double march over here then. Can't get to the objective. What's the the, the distance on this objective? So uh, this is one of the large ones. So this is okay, a so uh, nine inch. On. Yeah. So the range here is four and a half. Mm -hmm. I have actually. Uh, so let me be uh, accurate. Two. I only have one. No, okay, this is well, slightly out. Yeah. Right. But I can't get anywhere near it. I don't think. Yeah. Well, maybe. What's the range on it? Sorry, four and a half. It's four and a half, yeah. So if I just go straight forward. Essentially, you want to I, I could clip it. Here. I could do it. Yeah. Because I can get there like that. All right. I'm going to do that. Clip it. Tie it up. And just uh, say, bring it on. Hop yes. Up. Bring it on. All right. I right, alone. Yeah, I'll charge you in the side of my Hellbringer or my... Uh, my armored Drake, that should make you cry. That'll be fun. I will probably be crying for <laughs> soon, but okay, so my next activation, mm. that will be the Polymark. The Polymark. Mm. And the Polymark will say that he will fight in the shade. Not in the sun. Let me not embarrass myself. It is fighting the shade. Uh, so here's the thing, I'm not gonna draw another card, right. but what I'll do is that I'll go through my command stack and I will activate the item. The oh, excellent. excellent. Right, uh, so because of my supremacy ability, when I activate through the stack, first mm -hmm. of all, I'm inspired because that's the function rule. Right. But because of the Eidolon is the uh, is my warlord, I get hardened one. Excellent. Uh, and uh, let's see if there's anything else I'd like. Hundred kingdoms. All right, so I'm gonna do a double march. If Leo loses, he has to walk a mile in my shoes. You know what? Tricks on you, Tommy. I'm not wearing shoes. <laughs> so what I want to try and do here is move in such a way that I bring uh, three stands in range of that uh, objective zone. Excellent. But hopefully I'm not easily charged by your ironclad. Ironclad will need... You'll be very surprised, folks. I do not want to get that ironclad charging me. It's but a I... 15 inch, minus 7. That is a... So... It's uh, eight on the D6, yeah. that's a rough roll to make. So. <laughs> right. so yeah, here what I'm hoping is that you're gonna have to be re-rolling successful volley rolls of one, mm. and I have hardened one until the end. So I'm hoping that to this survive is- survive a little bit of yes. the firepower here. Yes. Right, 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 right. So right. that will be your treasure. My go, all righty. So let's find out what's next. If you're Hold also- uh, Oh, nice. Huh. If you're mm -hmm. also wondering, I also have initiative on my Iris Stark, so we might be uh, we might be using that for a little a few shenanigans later. There's a there's a confirmation. No, no, don't make anything null and void. <laughs> <laughs> Greece, oh boy, I have to play conquest on the beach in Greece. Might even bring my wife. It's gonna be great. I have to teach her how to play. Why should I make my wife play? Ladrun maybe. She likes dinosaurs. Right. Who doesn't like dinosaurs? All right. Um. Yes, there is space for white. So, um, what is your range? Is I'm outside of nine. My range is 18. I'm 18, not yeah. getting danger close. Right. So, I'm not getting extra shots. But I think that aiming and firing is probably the, the best idea here. Um, so, that's, going on with if, that. that's what we're going to do anyway. Yeah, so here, uh, um, there's a couple things to consider. Uh oh. Just as, as like advice. Mm. I think that uh, I, aim and shoot is one good thing you can do here. But you may want to take into consideration that if I charge you and engage you, everything there is will be uh, tied back there. Right. So you might want to consider, uh, perhaps in this case, moving for getting that extra shot. It's not ideal, 
right? But you may uh, not have to face like this traffic jam that is going to happen there. And I think that will work uh, a little better for you. So if I actually back up is what you're saying. Uh, no, no, actually, uh, it, might, it might seem a little bit counterintuitive, oh, but, uh, but I will just throw a uh, uh, stance on the objective to, for me not to score it. That and doesn't matter. You score no matter what. Yes, because I always seize. Yes, that's, that's true. But either way, the point, sorry, the, I, I went on. The point I will try to make is that uh, try to find a way that your ironclad drake is not... Oh, because once there. you're engaged, I can't... Once you're engaged, you I cannot can't move, charge through. And you cannot, you cannot either, even move through. So, yeah, you might just want to move enough to, like, come a little bit further up and just... Yeah, the hold warriors are going to have some trouble, but... I, I know what I'm going to do. Okay. It's just... to be fair. It's, a little, it's, a, it's somewhere in between. I am okay. going to move, but what I'm going to do is literally just move two and a half inches to the side mm -hmm. to make sure that I have a nice, clean drake charge. Nice. Uh, the, the, the hold warriors, sadly, um, aren't considered when my, 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 my Ray makes his decisions. Mm -hmm. They are too lowly for... for <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to be aiming. I will be hitting on twos then with ten shots from my Beliste. And you will be re-rolling once. Right. Because you are all ducking and weaving, hiding I'm under your shields. You're in turtle formation. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Or Testudo. whatever oh, Greek uh, version, uh, of the... <laughs> version, whatever Greek fauna well, is particularly resistant. I luckily re-rolled one of my ones into a one, so I do get a hit. <laughs> All right, so how many hits? Just one. Just one hit. And I think I only hit on twos, right? Uh, yeah, since you moved, yeah. uh, you uh, in. Let me know. Uh, roll your. Did you roll your sorcerer as well? Uh, not yet. No. Okay. I guess I can just. Well, oh, because you have hardened. Yeah, I have a hardened. Harden, yeah, I, harden, yeah, I passed that one. Yep. That's fine. Uh, he's hitting on threes. Yeah. You know what I forgot to do? Is make my um, resolve check for my graft of fire last time. Oh, that's okay. We'll do it next time. Two hits. I can just do it right here. I made it. Yeah, perfect. All right, so I got, I got two defense rolls. Uh, that is two ones for me. Yay! Let me see. Let me see. I'm not being, I'm not being silly here. My Ahimam. Yep, defense of three, fully formation. Uh, I got I got really nice stuff here. Really nice stuff, but not nice Fight enough. The shade. Two nice little wounds will come my way. Yay! It begins. Yes, two ones at a time. Here you go. Right. Yeah, the Eidolon is even though even though you know uh, it, it works even better with clockwork hall plates and stuff, mm. which are amazing. Uh, it's a, it, it's quite useful, mm -hmm. right? And I was expecting quite a bit of you know, uh, cleave and armor piercing, <laughs> piercing. So I tried to do something with it, All right? So hoplites. All right. Um, so actually here, um, well, a shame I did not uh, <laughs> I did not get the uh, the offensive uh, ability here. So oh, you're parrying, right? So yeah, what I'm trying to think of here is that if I charge. The way that you're behind the, the terrain right now will not allow you to reach me easily, the way that you've positioned yourself. So you're going to have to march and charge me. So I'm thinking that I might just uh, charge. But actually, mm, the plus, the phalanx rule doesn't like me very much. Um, All right, what's your charge? My charge is eight. Oh, look at that, you're short. I'm, I am short indeed. So what I'm going to try and do here, um, hmm, okay, I got an idea. So I'm going to do two march, two march moves. I'm gonna, be, I will be eating the fish in the beach, I promise. I'm going to do um, Ooh, getting on that objective. two and a half inch move sideways, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to move uh, five inch in place, like so. You're going to really claim that objective, claim yeah. it good. Yeah, I want to bring like, um, yeah, it would be nice if I could bring another one. I'll claim it now. Uh, it would be nice if I could bring like, you know, uh, another stand just to be able to outscore your six. But it, it's fine for now, since you've already activated. Uh, yes, you're going to be getting it this turn for sure. Yeah. My Jumpin' Sorcerer! Yes. Hmm. Well, it looks like he's got one target. 
So, um, what is your uh, defensive statistics here? For whom? Your, um, I'm sorry, Agima? Yeah. So, I'm uh, defensive two. I got sealed. That takes me to defensive three. And I, ha I have hardened one for this round. Hardened one. Just the one. Uh, so, you're going to be... Uh, essentially, yeah. I, I... Sorry, defense three? Yeah. With a shield? Yeah. So, I am going to be using fireball, which is only going to get one of its penetration. Unless I am forgetting anything super important, which I'm not. Okay. Res and resolve of three. Excellent. Uh, my polymer, actually, my polymark is resolve of four, so plus one. No, resolve I'm really good at five. I'll be right. I still think, oh, I'm only going to get one of it. So I, I, think, I think if you're going for volume of yeah, attacks, it's, it's, it's volume. better for you here. Coruscation. Coruscation it is. Let's burn them down. Ooh. Um, I am hitting on fours. So that is a total of seven uh, wounds. Six, seven. Ooh, I like those big numbers. That is a lot of damage. That Ooh. is uh, five. Ooh, five and five resolve tests. Uh, yeah, so let me see. Oh, this is good. Fireball! So no, it's not fireball, it's coruscation. The coruscation is a little easier to cast. The fireball penetrates more armor, and but he's hardened. So two and three, uh, five and under, because I got really, I'm good. You're good. I love it. I think it's fun being shot with coruscations. Cool. All right. Go sorcerer, go. My Eidolon mm. will do nothing. Okay. okay. Uh, it's there doing its, like, a uh, dance with all the... With all the clubs and the different arms. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, someone give Leo the work <laughs> Oops! Oops, did I do that? All right, the ironclad Drake. All right. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think we decided that was out of charge range. But. Yeah. I don't want to just let you have that objective. So I think what it might be is a march and then a charge. All right. And let's get in there. So, seven inches. Now, that objective I will get. Oh, yeah, because you, <laughs> there is a ray in that. <laughs> okay, so folks, so essentially, I always see, seize the objective zone because of my polymark ability, but having a ray uh, next to us here is not nice. Now, since we are both always seized, we uh, ignore each other and we are going for the usual uh, way of, um, of uh, Calculating who she is. Now I have three stance in range of that objective zone. The ironclad Drake being a heavy monster counts as three. So I do not will not be able to get points from it. I squished I, your character. I believe my <laughs> character will be squished, but maybe with a blade of Achilles. Ooh. By the way, this is a very good point. Uh, this is a very good point here. Sometimes it might seem tempting to glue the models into the stance, but actually it's a very good idea to not do it because that allows you to pick the models out. Like you showed me right now, like for example, the polymark, I just change its position. I, sometimes you can, you know, rotate the models around. It's a, it makes the game much better and it protects your miniatures if you have this. I have impact six. You might mitigate that though. Uh, I got impact six. No, that, I will not uh, well, mitigate your here. impact. Yeah. Ah, all right. So impact six on threes, go. Actually, that's not even here. That's the oh. Falangitas you're thinking, the pike formation. Okay. Yeah. They haven't, right. they're not yet on the battlefield. Right. Oh, they were, they were waiting for it. All right. Yeah. So, impacting. Let's do it. Oh, ho, 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 it's a big impact. That is five at. So, what's your class? Brutal impact two. It's at three. Okay. Brutal impact two. Okay, so I know one point of that. Uh, and let's do it. Here's my hard one. Mm. Uh, that will not make a difference whatsoever. So... This stand is destroyed. Do you have terrifying? Terrifying two. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. So that means I take another four wounds. Oh my! So that's two here. That's sorry. That is uh, one five here, initially, and then and five an, more. And ten? another four. Yeah. Okay. So I'm broken. And here's the thing. Well, my ability to seize object always seize objectives doesn't work if I'm broken. Oh. So you will seize that objective. Hold Ray, or Burgot Ray. I might have to do some challenging there. 
Turns out dwarf kings riding dragons is dangerous. I know, right? Like, <laughs> who, knew? <laughs> who knew? I didn't sign up for this. Let me get these off the table. So we're not let me not get stabbed by Palangitis again. No, no, just just uh dwarven Stab police. The enemy. Yeah, the enemy. The enemy, right. The right. enemy. Yeah. Alright, so let's do it. Um, my next card, that will be my Phalangitas. Oh, here they come. Phalangitas, veterans of stabbing. The absolute stabbing professionals. We'll move right in the middle. Ten, uh, five and five, that's ten right inches. Just give Leo with Steve Touch dice. You know what? We are fresh out of Steve Touch dice. We got to make more. What's that? Oh, <laughs> one of our uh, main, uh, one of the founders of Play on Tabletop, Steve. Uh, was known for rolling ones. Oh, I want and that. So Steve touched dice were dice that he had blessed with his ability to roll ones, which would be a huge boon if you're a, con a conquest player. Um, but yeah, so we, we were... 30 bucks to whoever brings me those. <laughs> <laughs> He's even got Greek chocolate. Probably better than the money. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, lots of sixes. The more sixes later. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Thank you, Carlos. All right, that will be my following get this. Okay. Ooh, ooh, that's um very stabby formation. Yes. Although come on, poke my ray. Arguable <laughs> what we'll do to the to the Drake, but we'll <laughs> see. More lambs to the slaughter. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, lambs to the slaughter. Inferno Automata! No. Charge! Oh. Um, I don't know if I have to roll, but I'm going to roll anyway. Go for it. Go you for know, it. that's fun. Yay, I'm in! You're, Leo, you're... Uh, it's not looking good, man. I've heard, yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. I'll level with you. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. <laughs> it's, not very looking, it's not looking very good. Uh, the Automata do impact. Yes. Uh, two apiece. I think I'm hunting two. My uh, rare Ethereans. I probably only got two there. Actually, I know I only got two because they certainly don't have a clash of four because that would be intense and awesome. They yep, clash two. Two impact hits. No. That's right. Special uh, so let me remember. Uh, that is defense of, of two. All right, let's do it. Steven, this is an amazing uh, rank and one, flank game. One wound. Check out Conquest. You'll enjoy, I promise. A wound. A wound. I poked him. I'm good. Is it resolve three? I don't want to be, yeah. I don't want to be silly, yeah. And I shot that guy earlier as well? Uh, yeah, they have six wounds per. But I shot him as well, so I think we've lost a damage dice. Remember I did one wound with uh, the Drake? Apologies, yeah, I'm sorry. So I will find you damage dice. Sorry. No worries. No, he's not dead. Oh. I just did one wound earlier with the Hellbringer Drake when he shot them. Okay, yeah, so I'm, I'm one wound left here. Okay. Yeah. Um, however so you want to. I've taken five wounds here. I'm one wound left. That's the danger of using D6s for both damage <laughs> and rolling. <laughs> <I> know, <right? laughs> gets, uh, gets difficult sometimes. Leo, you were the chosen one! Oh, attack. That You're was the a, chosen one, aren't you? That was a mistake to make me the chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> Who told you I should have been the chosen one? Let's do it. Alrighty, I'm attacking four times apiece. I don't think I get a leader. Nope. They're not smart enough to be led. Nobody can tell them what to do. <laughs> We're full of demons. You're not going to tell us what to do. Here we go. I am inspired because of my charge. Hitting you on threes. Do, 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 do. Not great. Not great. Not amazing. But a lot of play on. Lots of sixes. That's going to only give me four. We got any... Uh... Any I nasty little don't. rules? Fearsome, irregular, and fluid. No, we're both fearsome. We're both fearsome. <laughs> so that means no one's running yeah, away. Nobody, nobody. Okay, so uh, three wounds there. Um, uh, he's three. dead. Ooh, I got him. And, and some uh, resolve. Two wounds here. Yeah, and that will be uh, three resolve tests for me. That will be a resolve of three. That is one wound. A single wound. Oh, excellent. I think he did roll the resolve for the impact one. Pretty sure. Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, I, no, I did. <laughs> My theorians have upgraded to medium rare. <laughs> Ooh, they're, they're almost 
Charcoal right now getting even more powerful. We're going for charcoal, folks. We're going for charcoal. <laughs> We're going for, for smoked. <laughs> smoked. Uh, the Ari Stark. So the Ari Stark, what is she going to say? Um, it doesn't matter what she's going to say. It's, it's my last. Oh, actually, what do you have to activate still? Is it? My Ray. Oh, that's okay. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, she'll pass. The, my Ari Stark will pass. It doesn't matter. The question is, yes. how nasty is your um, pull mark? So my polar mark, polar mark here? yeah. So my polar mark has the blade of Achilles. That Ooh. is a uh, cleave four and Ooh, minus one attack, but plus one clash. So that would mean um, four attacks at class five at uh, cleave four. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a, a duel that I'm particularly interested in right now. Why not, Tack? Because I don't want to lose most of my wounds for no good reason. Because I, I I might be able to kill. How many wounds do you have? You got five wounds or something? I got. Um, um, I got four wounds. Yeah, I've only got five attacks. But I have cleave three. You know, I'm interesting. I'm interested. Flawless strikes. I'm interested to see whether um, my Care of the Godless. And I have Flurry because I'm on a Drake. Yeah. And I will have uh, apparently a hardened one there as well because my regiment gets it from. Activated from the command stack. I took I got that rule during the, the game. That's a very important distinction and therefore that special rule transfers to the character as well But I don't have any special defenses. I think I might have to duel another of your nasty So I might just wait so I'm not going to declare a duel with my ray at this time No, no, <laughs> no Who would have thought so pass okay? Mm -hmm. Uh, so that'll be the end of the round. That'll be the victory phase. Um, so uh, nobody scores this one. Nope. I, uh, I you score this one. I do. So that is uh, two victory points for you. In round four. Uh, yep. Round four. Yeah, and I'll be one victory point for me here. Right, because you moved in and you're covering so, it good. Two one. Two to one into round five. All We're right. Halfway through, the killing has started. Now the side objectives become uh, very important this round. Because essentially now uh, we're gonna be inverting, right? Uh, so let's see. I am not doing very hot, um, and I don't have any more reinforcements. I don't know why I'm looking like if the ma they're <laughs> magically open, going to. You got probably more in the box over there. I might need them. <laughs> you might need them. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. What do you think, chat? More reinforcements? Things are not for the chocolate. Oh, I agree. Ted. Things are not looking hot right now. Um, uh, Ryan, there's actually not a lot of shade on those Death Guard. Um, probably null oil for a little bit of pin washing, but uh, it's a lot of um, airbrush work and highlighting, uh, but not a lot of actual shading on the Death Guard models that you see on the tabletop today. Or not today, uh, but, but uh, the Death Guard you see on Play on Tabletop don't have a lot of shading in them. And you have you and what army up there, so I can't force you to to you. I do? Do I have you and what army? Yeah, you want to say it. Doesn't say so. Would it say on the Drake? It would say it on the uh, on the mastery that to get on top of that. Get on top of it. On the right or special room. On the Burgon Frey. I'm not gonna tell you folks. Uh, I'm a little, I don't know, I'm not very sure how this is going to go. Oh, it's in the rider rule. Yeah, okay. it's, it's in the rider rule. Yeah. Cool. Nested rules. All right. Um, what am I doing? Yeah. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. One of the things that I, I've particularly liked is a little bit, you know, first of all, when you play city states, don't default into, uh, let's say, drawing, activating your command card, and then immediately rush to activate the regiment that they're currently attached to. Because sometimes, you know, you might want to save a little bit of that utility. Uh, in this particular case, you know, the Eidolon is very good at giving me uh, certain options. Um, so I don't necessarily want to activate it. Uh, 
I don't know if it's a great stack, but it's my stack, and here we go. All right, so how many cards? Two, three, I think four, I have five, more. Six, I like how I counted it and immediately forgot. I so, still have eight cards. All right, I still have seven. I rolled a two. Roll the, Roll the four. four. You. And I'll be my medium rare Therian. Oh, excellent. Who immediately who will, takes six hits. Who will take six hits? <laughs> Because I have an aura of death. It's better than taking a lot more hits. As they go, yeah. yeah. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I'm fading. No. Bye. <laughs> Leo, what happened to your dice? No. <laughs> oh god. If they're getting. <laughs> is it happening? This doesn't cause uh, resolve. Aura of death doesn't. Uh, does it? Does I'm at this point. Uh, you, might as well. You're reeling. I might as well. <laughs> <laughs> at this point, it might. <laughs> Just to add insults to injury, let's double check this. Or death. Uh, I always trust my focused self when the, when I'm sitting down to write rules, not when I'm playing game. These are hits. So. You can draw the next card if you're totally dead, but you're not. No, I'm not totally dead. Uh, I don't know. Where would it say? Aura of death. I'm in the aura of death. Not inflict aura of death. Come on. It doesn't say it doesn't. Okay. It probably uh, would. I'm stuck now for. What do you like, think, chat? Do the, does the uh, aura of death? I'm at this point. I'm like, I'm like stuck. <laughs> trying I'm, to figure out. I'm how to stuck for the oddest. Reason. Anyway, fight your way out of this one. Yeah, never mind. We'll see if it if it. Let's roll it just so we we're good. He would have lived with one wound. Perfect. So now let's do the inspire and, and attack. Chat. When I get like uh, getting beat up really badly, some things don't work in my head. He might happen. All right, so it's I have... not trigger morale tests. Pardon me. He does not. All right. I'm bad at reading. Sorry, folks. <laughs> so six attacks, uh, class Thank of three, Thank you so much, Savage four. Play and Brilli. Thank you. Yeah. Right. This is, the, this is the lead game developer, by the way. Right. This is the person... Yeah. Chris Lee, your dad jokes are as appreciated as you think they are. What Holds happened? an under. Oh. Only two hits. Only two hits. So no. <laughs> Cleave three. I think you just pound right through my. Oh, I have, actually, I evade. Yeah, you evade. I have evade two. Uh, sorry, two. I save one, take one. How oh, it's my resolve? I love it. I take a wound. He says, "Ow." Chat. I tried. He tried real hard. Not, not very well, Leo. You didn't try very well. <laughs> <laughs> Hard and well are different questions. It's true. All right, so I'm going to flip my Hellbringer Drake. Why? Why? <laughs> no, no, he's why to my... Why? To my <laughs> because... All right. All right, I think the Hellbringer Drake... Hmm. I'm not going to be... Ooh, I guess I could run up behind, because I'm right on top of it. Uh, so I think you would get... Because uh... I could shoot your... I'm gonna get my uh, uh, yeah yeah, but here's the up. the question is whether 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 you want to disengage the the ironclad and potentially side charge and like double team up there in that in that in the, oh otherwise I could just shoot them yeah because that yeah because you probably if you shoot it they're um, yeah they're not gonna have fun probably they're gonna be dead. And so the question, they don't have Harden right now or anything. And so my question is, maybe... That's a, that's a smarter move. I am going to yeah. shoot there and then challenge over here because I will outnumber you and have scoring and take the objective from you. Uh, you and will, then my Inferno Automatic and finish you off you later. You will take the objective. Uh, so draw event, you get an overcharge token. Overcharge, spending uh, right you away. You might want to think, you might want to uh, consider uh, perhaps like... Uh, um, using one march to wheel a little bit and come closer to the objective. Oh, I'm going to do that after. I'm going to shoot first, oh, okay, and then yeah, I'm going to yeah. march onto the sure, objective. Sure, that's, that's the plan. Perfect. So, um, not aiming, firing yeah. everything at your Agima. Give me 12 shots again. Hunting twos. Come on, Drake, put them down! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 
That's going to be five hits. Negative two. What's that? Five. five. Negative two. Five. Let's see. Oh, one. With Steve plays Conquest, would he be OP? That it depends is, if it's Chaos Steve showing up or not. That is five wounds. Five wounds. I think that finishes. That finishes. But you get to, to I, whack away I at get my to, Drake. I get to die fighting. Yeah. Nobody has activated here. So that would be four attacks. At, uh, I'm not in Oh, I'm um, class of five. One miss. So uh, three hits. Three hits, but with cleave four. I don't think my Drake has. Oh, he actually does evade, doesn't he? He's a dancing Drake. Evasion two. Yes. Save one of them. Take two damage. My resolve is pretty good. I take one more. Nice. So I took a total of three. That brings me down to 14 wounds remaining on the Hellbringer Drake. Sorry, not the Hellbringer Drake, the Ironclad Drake. Yeah, the Ironclad Drake. Okay. So I've taken three. I'm just going to yes. count up. And you, that's how it works you in Conquest. can nicely park yourself on that objective right. and start scoring them. All right. Here we go. Let's do it. Uh, so then... The Phalangitas. Mm. So the Phalangitas, I'm going to put into my strategic stack. Oh. And that will be play past them. You're waiting for the charge. You're like, yeah. Bring um, it. I'm actually... Actually, uh, let me think about it. Um, my idea is to try and get hardened. Um, but I have reasons to believe that your ironclad is uh, high up in the in your stack. Oh, interesting. Um, so I think that if I wait, I'm not really gonna pull it off. Uh, so you know, I might as well just march them, double march them forward, like in in this way, like so. Oh. So hopefully I'll, I'll try and cover myself a little bit from the Iron Club Drake. You are Drake. hidden from the Drake. So. Am I? Uh, uh, not, I mean, not, actually, I can't shoot from back there. I have to yeah, the uh, so hidden. yeah, for now I'm good. Maybe get a little bit of, uh, and yeah, that'll be it. That, this this Hellbringer Drake has been a problem for you. Yeah, <laughs> Hellbringer Drakes are strong. They are. I like them a lot. Overall, 1,500 points list have a different, uh, let's say, balance point. Mm. Let's say different uh, balance feel. All right, so let's see. Hold warriors. You don't have impact hits over there. Leo, what was is your favorite faction to write rules for? So that's a very interesting question because at every point when writing rules for a faction, it came at a point of different experience, let's say. So I, I will tell you that sometimes I, my favorite, let's say, writing experience is when I go back to a faction with like fresh eyes, like more experience. And I see what they're missing, and I'm trying to go and, and write, you know, um, let's say, uh, adjust them, or let's say, do some rewrite for. So I think this is something that I really enjoy. Sorcerer Kings were very interesting. Uh, it's definitely a, uh, a complicated faction in terms of the options you get and the synergies that you might create. Uh, so I really like that. But overall, I like when I go back to the to factions that we've already do, uh, launched, right, and looking them with fresh eyes. Uh, yes, this is a 1,500 point, not 2,000 point battle. Yeah, a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my stands have five attacks each because I have a Herald of Fire. I that do start. have a leader, so it's mm -hmm. going to be 16, mm -hmm. plus three more for crossing yes. my support. I, I, I forgot to tell you my mode. Uh, I would have gone for, for oh. Cleave. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 19 attacks with my yes. Hold Warriors as they charge into your hoplites. Yes. I am hitting you on threes because I'm inspired. Yes, be inspired. Okay. Seeing a fair number of threes, but too many fours to really make me happy. Looks like we are rolling around with seven whole hits here. All right, so I start with a defense of two. I got sealed and I got phalanx. So that would be four of How many hits? Seven. Seven. Four, one, three, seven. Uh, let's see. The nerf hammer. That's quite uh, the fair. So that's two wounds. Two wounds, that's it. Two wounds. Uh, oh, no. This may not go well for me. <laughs> uh, two resolve tests. I got a resolve of three. Uh, uh, plus plus one. 
No, no, there, uh, okay. yeah, yeah. I thought I had one cent less. Good. I love it. Two wounds. Let me put it there. All right. Those are four wounds of stand? These are four wounds of stand. Right. Four wounds. Right. Hold, warriors. They tickled you. Um, yeah. So, the Ari Stark. Okay, so that's uh, so that's a good development, I guess. Uh, so I'm gonna go for um, I'm gonna go with Hearts of Iron, right? I wanna ignore that terrifying because that's I'm I'm trying to take away offensive tools from you here. Mm. Uh, impact is gonna be mitigated to a certain extent by pack formation. Um, and I think that taking away terrifying would be the best option for me here. Fair enough. Uh, so that will be uh, my uh, my Ari Stark. Excellent. Uh, and uh, as you Ooh. may have seen, I've already played Fallen Gita, so no other card to draw. Oh, okay. we, we know that it's not next. Yeah. My so tempered if, sorcerer. If I'm considering doing battle reports at the Parabellum YouTube channel, I'd love to. That's great. So, idea. Yeah, it's a matter of uh, you know. We're working towards expanding, you know, our studio and being able to give you more tactics uh, content, right? Not because a lot of people are asking for more, let's say, in-depth strategies, not just, you know, uh, I mean, we enjoy the fine bottle reports, but sometimes you, some people want, you know, to learn more about competitive play. So that will be, uh, hopefully, one that we are able to expand to that. And, and we're actually there. working on a little something along yeah. those lines. Or yeah. Lines. yeah, you might be able to see actually something Ooh. sooner than you may think. Some, some secret tips and tricks. Yes. Some ways to manipulate this battlefield in your favor. Um, all right, so I've just drawn my Tempered Sorcerer. Let's see. He's going to cast a big old spell at you. He's using his Graft of Fire. I think I again forgot to roll for the Graft of Fire again last time, so he does fail, so he's actually taking a wound. All right. And I will roll before Let's my roll this time so that I don't cheat you yet again. He's okay on that one. So um, I have a choice to make of whether or not I want to. Start whittling away at your Pelagites, or if I'm going to use my Herald of Fire and start burning up your um, hoplites. So your hoplites can't inspire. My hoplites, um, no, unless they play from the strategic stack at this moment. And they're not going to be able to. Uh, no, they, could. They, they could. Yeah, that's not the problem. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing. So I'm guessing. So. I realistically do not expect the Phalangitis to survive the Ironclad, right? So you're probably going to be winning this. And I think the Ironclad is... Oh, they're on the line, are they? Pack is brought by the Victory Dice. So these are exclusive dice well, that, that you're going to have to play your little heart out to win. Well, oh, okay. Well, Actually, it's, you might have already I, earned those. I've already lost those. <laughs> I've already lost those. <laughs> okay, seeing how the current battle is going. <laughs> So, oh, right. uh, so yeah, I think that if you're putting a little bit of damage to the Fallen Gitas, that makes sense. Uh, you might want to go with the Ironclad to the side and kind of contest that. Um, yeah. No, I think I need to work on the Hoplites. Okay. Because otherwise my poor Hold Warriors are not long for yeah. this world. Yeah. So my Tempered Sorcerer has already rolled for his uh, Graft of Fire. He is going to use his Focus and come at you with... Hmm. One hit per success. If I get three. Oh, so, so it doesn't matter. I can't take away your inspired because you only take it away if it's the, on the charge. Yeah. So the other thing is, I think that the damage that you do, if you do it through the Herald of Fire, it counts as hitting me from the sides. Oh, well, and, that's handy. You get past your shield. Uh, uh, and found. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that means that going to the Coruscation might be. The, oh, you have two defense to start with, though. Yeah, so, so that's a lot better than four, let's say. But with a fireball, I can get right past that and give you no saves at all. Possibly. What 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 cleave is the uh, what armor piercing is the fireball? Two. Two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Fireball. Fireball. fireball! Uh, eight dice into your hoplites yeah. from my herald of fire. So that my herald of fire over here is allowing my sorcerer to as a, to act as a conduit. The herald of fire is the conduit for the sorcerer's yes. powers. I love this rule. I, yeah. I love the I love the rework on the on the heralds because b before I mean they were thematic in what they did, but now I like how they synergize. That is a lot of hits. Six just kills. Ah, that's two stands picked up with a whole bunch of resolve to take. I love it. Oh, I love it. The herald of fire. Better than the Peter of fire. 
Better than what? Or the Georgia fire. Or, or the or the or the tent carls. Oh no! Yes, my tent carls. They did tent. not do very well. My poor tent carls. How many? How many hits? They Six. got degraded from house carls to tent carls. Tent <laughs> how many hits? Six. Six. All right. So resolve tests. Let's see it. Um, uh, resolve of. Ooh. Right uh, now, four? I'm up to a four. I have um, two wounds. Two extra wounds. Two more. Now that took a lot of attacks that normally would be coming into my uh, hold warriors away from you. So I'm pretty proud of that yeah. particular maneuver there. Uh, so let's see. Mm -hmm. lights. There they so are. These have activated, right? They have activated. They have, yes. I charged you and I did a whole two um, wounds. Problem. You found which? This is the last. The last? <laughs> the last of it. Oh, oh, you found it. This is official. Steve touched dice. This, this might be the big turnaround, right? Cue, here. cue the epic music. Cue, da, da, da. Or is it saxophone music? Oh, look, you can even see they're, they're ancient. They're not even squares. They feel... They, <laughs> they feel... They're rhomboids. Tingly. They're, they're tingly. Ooh. <laughs> the power it held you. The power of Steve compels right. you. So I'm going uh -oh. to gonna put the hoplites on strategic side okay. for now, and it will be so your turn. not coming through yet. Yeah. All right. Well, Tack may have come to your rescue with those Steve Touch dice, but I'm going to have to do my, my worst as in, the, in the meantime. Here we go. Moving on to the whole police day. Yes. All right. Well, I think one of my stands can't really see much because there's a big dragon butt in his way. But the rest of them, I believe, can see your phalangite. If phalangites, pardon me. <laughs> I'm really trying to get my pronunciations right. That's been a big part of, uh, of my learning here, because I, I, I tend to read things before I hear things, so I come up with very fanciful Apocatheries. apothecaries, because <laughs> I'm also dyslexic, it seems. Uh, so I'm going to miss out on three yeah. of my shots. <clears throat> so that's going to be three, six, seven. Hitting on, uh, I guess I will aim. Yeah, I yep. will aim. Um, so hitting on threes. Mm -hmm. um, and I did not roll any ones because you're probably still fighting in the shade. No, that's somebody no, no, else. No, no, no. That, that was uh, that used to be <laughs> <laughs> somebody else. That used to be somebody else that I used to know. Turns out fighting in the shade versus a Drake wasn't the, drake, the way yes. to go. That's two uh, bolts that have hit home with a penetration of one. Should I? Should I chat? Should so I are, you, are you going to, 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 to test the is, fell powers? Is, is this Steve fair to wield dice. so much power? <laughs> is it fair? Is it fair? <laughs> it's not about fair, sir. We're at war! <laughs> <laughs> they feel different. They do. They do feel different. All right, so uh, defensive two, but you have, uh, you have armor piercing one, right? Yes. Okay, so you're hitting me from the front. Phalanx, I don't get. So ones and twos. Oh, look at that! Oh, the Steve Touch dice are perfect so far. Perfect. Luckily, I've got more shots. <laughs> Just let me have You're this. Doing his, his, uh, gladiator show off wall. Just let me have this. Just, okay, you've got it. So, yeah. so. Where's that person named Steve? <laughs> I think he's teaching children about theater right now. Uh, all right. Uh, we are going to keep shooting. My uh, tempered sorcerer can get, draw a bead there. He's going to go for his shots. He hits on fours. Not great. Two. Uh, no it, penetration, so you get your full armor here. Is this fair? Is, this, is it fair to use the magical dice? Oh, okay. okay. Take one. Not bad. Not, not bad. bad. For not. a full volley, one down. These will be my dice from now on. <laughs> He's found his champions. <laughs> all right, so would that be all? I think that's it for the uh, whole Ballista, yes. All right, so let's do the Eidolon. The Eidolon. Um, you don't have a character there. Nope. He will chill. Chill, okay. But, uh, yeah, he will chill. Cool. The Ironclad Drake. Well, you're right there. Yes. I can charge you and stay on the objective. So I'm um, going to do that. I don't so, get much impact because you've got pokey spears. Uh, you might not. So let's see the move. You're oh, going to wow. have to bring your corner right here. Uh, let me help you. I can go the other corner, can't I? Uh, you have to. Oh, yeah, you're right, because you have to maximize. I have you, to maximize. Uh, but it doesn't so, matter which way I do it. So uh, I'm going to do it to the close corner. And go like. I'll tell you. I'll tell 
Congratulations, Lamley. Sad. Yeah. And I'm actually. I beheaded one of my own for like. Oh no! <laughs> Luckily, we have crazy glue for that. We'll get to that later. My apologies. Uh, I'm actually technically uh, like uh, three millimeters farther forward, but I don't want to behead your character. So more than he has already. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe more he does one. <laughs> the resume has already been. <laughs> Be forewarned for the Steve Dice are a very cool servant. I will abuse all of its power. Ah, but when Steve's dice are abused, they might turn on you. We'll see. We'll see. We'll more find than, out. More than these dice have turned on me? No, bit. not more than those dice have turned on you. Those dice have been mean to you. Just yeah. mean. All right, so here comes the charge so of my ironclad your drake. your impact is going to go down by... From six? From a six to a three. Oh, I thought it was minus five. It was minus three, minus three. To, impact, to the impact extra okay, roll. So I only got three impacting hits, yeah. hitting on threes. That's only the one. Only the one. Uh, but it is penetration two. So that might just go right through. I don't know. Sixes, ones, something. Nope. You and have to resolve. Uh, actually, uh, sorry, let me tell you. Oh, you're not. Uh, right, right, right. I do have my resolve, and I ignore terrifying. So. so okay. What is my, my resolve here oh, is four, or five? four. I got six to end, so that is five. five. Oh, he's fine. He's fine. Five. Steve Touch are doing well. All right, so that was a, not an scintillating uh, impact, but I do get 12 attacks. Hitting on fours with the Drake. Well, the Greeks from Leopolis will make a comeback. <laughs> Leopolis. Actually, you know what I've what I've uh, been loving, and, and I haven't had the chance to really uh, to to really play with them. Uh, but I'm loving the chariots for city states because mm. they're solving a lot of. The, uh, so in the way that uh, you know after the buff, and they they got quite a few nice updates. Yeah. Uh, this the I I really like how the chariots are you know projecting this new kind of power for the. For the city states, and I'm lo really looking forward them to to play them on a, on a in a tournament. Giving some really dynamic units. That can yeah, really yeah, it, it's that little flank flank work that you you didn't have a lot of access to before. Right. And I'm really excited to play with that more. So far, mostly sorcery kings, but uh -huh. I'll get to back to other factions. As well. Sorcerer kings. Uh, you have seven at cleave have three. Seven. Sir, Two. Uh, this is rude. Quite, quite. quite. <laughs> so phalanx, uh, defensive two, three, and one. Oh, there's a one. Only the one. So that's six resolve tests. So that's correct. Far. So that two. I got the, the six. The ray to go. And six resolve tests. Uh, he's resolve on four. Five attacks. Hitting on fives because he's inspired. That's another five at cleave three. Because he's got the drag broad. He has five cleave three, that's another five. So that is four. Drag broad. And one, and I have 11 here. I mean, if I lose two uh, stance, first of all, if I lose two stance, I'm both shattered and destroyed emotionally, physically. <laughs> <laughs> one, one soldier doesn't even have a head. <laughs> three, uh, four, six, eight. And three eleven. Does Steve's dice escape you? Oh no! I see play ons. Uh, I see only two play ons, and I have a resolve of four because of my iris target. And you and my terrifying doesn't count, and it, meaning you're still going. The the Steve dice come through again. Came through, come through, yeah. Come through again. This is amazing. Where do I order these? Where do I? Five right. wins. Leo has to walk to the airport. I'll get you to the airport. No worries. <laughs> There's some Why so up. me? I'm getting destroyed. Why do I have to walk as well? What is this? A little exercise to improve what your mood. What is this? <laughs> walk of shame. Walk of shame. Haven't I shame. suffered enough? <laughs> yeah, these, these drakes are bringing it. I know, right? They're yeah. bringing it. So, doesn't exist. Oh, that's my trophy. Bring him to me. Does not exist. <laughs> but my hope lights do. Yes. And they will inspire. I was about to say impact. I do not know how to speak. They will inspire in class, you sir, because Indeed. you have been incredibly rude to me. I have quite. If, in, in I, every way possible. if I do one thing before I lose this game completely it's and, complete, and completely cook 
might upgrade them to to absolute well done <laughs> or not so well done Therians. Uh, okay, so let's see. I got four attacks per stand, and I have a really nice support of two. So that is uh, four, eight, ten, twelve, and I have a leader. Thirteen. So that is thirteen. Lucky that is thirteen yeah. on Steve Touch Dice. So. How did the Ironclad hit on fours? Uh, so they're inspired, by the way, because I played through my uh, strategic staff. So just for so, you know. Uh, shouldn't have benefited from Inspire on the Ironclad, Drake? Why not? Is he not Inspire? So let's see here. Ironclad, Drake, should be Inspired. Why doesn't he get Inspired on the charge? He doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't get shock from, he doesn't get shock from Pike Formation. And let me see. Yeah. You know, they were saying that the ironclad Drake might not have been able to hit on fours because he wouldn't have counted for its inspired when he was charging. And I uh, yeah, totally because pike formation doesn't give you inspired. That's, I that cheated. Make, terribly that makes no. Then. That makes no difference. Take another stand back on your phalangites. Remove three ones. Let's sure, that's great. So you get four hits on the uh, on the. Uh, on the uh what you call it on your warriors and okay. then i'm gonna fight with my mighty eidolon i believe my warriors have a defense two with a shield good cats by the way bike formation, bike formation is pretty good i i mostly have it in my head Ooh. as a counter impact that i can shock usually all right i take four yeah and lose and a stand then, oh no i almost lose a stand i will have to give you four attacks i got a class of three that will be f class of four actually let's do it uh, two hits at a cleave three. Cleave three? I don't get to defend that. No, I, you do not. So, you kill the stand, mm -hmm. take one wound there for a total of six. Resolve tests for me. I believe my resolve is only two, but it goes up to three for my size. Uh, so that would mean that I take another two wounds. There we go. Grease canceled. <laughs> Grease is cancelled. Oh no! That'd be sad. All right. So you, you know what? You're, you know who you really makes out of that is my wife. No one wants to make my wife sad. She's a sweet lady. Chris. All right. That would be it. Ooh. Jail for me, Monty. Why? What did I do? So let's see what I have. Kind of. But table. thank you, Zach, for for uh, making sure that we are trying to do the best we can. We are trying to uh, play with some dynamism, and it does mean that we're moving a little faster yeah. than we might in a competitive situation. Yeah. And we've been running through armies, so it's a lot of information to take <laughs> <No> in. <laughs> so let's see. Um, so that will be the victory phase, which you will uh, get. Well, you will get that one, yes, yep. for a minute. I, uh, yeah. So you, I get three. You get uh, two, three. You get two. Uh, no, I do. I will not be able to get that. I got three in range, and you ha also have three in range. But the I think you have four in range. I only have three. Because I think they're in range. What's the range of this objective? It's four and a half. Oh, you got five. Nice. These are the times that I wish I had some really nice. Oh, but I have five too. Some really nice upgrades on my on my Eidolon, but they're not. Does he count for extra being a brute? No. No. But he he does have a uh, he does have a nice uh, a nice little upgrade that he counts as more. Mm. But oh well. Uh, yeah. So uh, you get uh, these two objectives. I get. Well, actually, oh, but you have. More I got lots more to do. Oh my my <laughs> theory and. <laughs> Needs to be cooked a little better. Well, yes, he's not Flip quite. to the other side. <laughs> Let me do this for you. It's burger time. Uh, sorry, Inspire Clash with the... Uh, yeah. uh, one, two, three, four. Five. That's a lot. a lot. How many? Eight. Eight. Exactly the number of Steve Touch dice that I have. Steve, on hand. save him! Uh-oh. Sorry, Steve. My well done, Tyrion. And then Morehold Warriors. It is out of the building. There you go, sir. This is your trophy. I think I can make it to just the other side. Uh, the Warriors. Uh, no, you're not going to be able to. No, oh, oh yeah, it's, you, can't stop you, you cannot. Yeah, you don't have enough. I have enough. to march and yeah. then march. Uh, but, yeah. Um, Actually, I could. 
March forward five, and then just march march them. If, if uh, but I don't really know which, if I want to. Which ones? The whole warriors. Yeah. Uh, the whole warriors are a little bit stuck where they're at right now, like in terms of crossing. But you can set them up to cross the the next, uh, like in the future. Something like that. And finally, the ray. The ray. I challenge you. You know. I cannot really say no because I'm actually broken. You're actually broken, so that would so, just shatter you if you did say so, no. So well, I, I don't have a choice anymore. Right. Yeah. So we actually uh, act at the same time. Yes. But I'm going to roll my dice now because I want to. I did roll a six, but because he's on a Drake, actually the fives miss as well. So I miss with everything technically because I have Clash four. Nice. Uh, but I flurry because I'm on a Drake. So let's try that again. Oh, I hit four times. Have I abused the dice too hard? This no, I believe in Steve. <laughs> Cleave three. The pun again. <laughs> I believe in Steve. I believe in Steve. Stephanie. Class of three <laughs> takes attacks. Let's do it. Two hits. Flying coach, Chris. How could you? The curse of Chris is struck. Uh, two hits. Sorry. Two hits. Yep. Two hits. Uh, Not the right. Oh, uh, what's your what's your cleave? Uh, I don't have a cleave. Okay. But yeah. you rolled a six. I take one. How many did you take? I took uh, four, probably. I four, cleave three. You didn't hit. I hit four. Oh, I, I, had, I had flurry. I got to roll again. I never rolled. <laughs> I never rolled. What's your defense? Uh, two. Oh, it's cleave three. Oh well, that well then, <laughs> well, sir. <laughs> I killed him. Ah, the agum. Oh yes, the agum. Agum is how the Dwegholm order their society. Yes. And I think killing enemy yeah. generals in hand-to-hand -hand combat, even from the top of a dragon. Insert person? He has that little, that little chain. It's like... Oh, yeah. It just oh, kills it. It's a really cool weapon. Yeah. Oh, the trophies are stacking up. Yeah. The trophies. Yes. Okay. Um, that's my turn. Mm -hmm. Now we count up. Actually, it's the exact same as it was before. Yeah. So three uh, for me, two for you. Moving uh, on. I'm to not getting five. that. One. I'm not. I'm not. I'm oh, not we're actually, tied. Yeah. Ouch. I'm not seizing that one. So you're getting actually both here. And I'm not getting any points. Oh. So we're moving on to the sixth round. Sixth round. None. Oh, sorry. For the dweg. Mm. Sorry, the dweg get three. Yeah. None the city states get none. nothing. They do not deserve a thing. Sad times. Sad times indeed, sir. Sad times. Very, very sad times. Uh, so let's see. Oh, I mean. I mean, there's really only one thing, I guess, here. One thing to do? Yeah. I don't know what's happening here. Here we go. All right, so let's do it. Uh, a three. A five, it's all you. I'll play first. I will activate my hope lights. Indeed. I will not inspire. No? Because I got phalanx. No, no. Um, let me check. I want to check something really quick. It's Nick. Sorcerer Kings, here we go. All right, yeah. Uh, sorry, by the way, uh, so I'm going to go for the cleave for my, uh, for my Eidolon, as I've told you before. Right. Uh, so let's do it. We have four, eight, uh, 10, 12, 13 attacks with mm -hmm. a leader for the Hoplites. Two, four, six, eight, and five. I have a class. Sorry, I'm laughing at you. Two. I'm laughing at what a comment Chris made. <laughs> Nothing is more unpleasant than finding out you're the insert person. <laughs> Beast on the cheese. Thank you, Tony. That will be uh, four, four hits. Four hits. Uh, cleave? No. No, no. Uh, uh, I, will, I will roll it separate. I will roll separately for the saving on threes. Yeah. I save three of them. Take one. Mm -hmm. uh, resolve that now or later. I'll resolve it now. Yeah. Uh, four. Sh that, that's not good. I take two, so I lose this stand. Uh, and so four attacks from the Eidolon. Oof. That is uh, one hit. What? Yeah. 
on oh, a Cleveland. We couldn't series. inspire. Yeah, on a Cleveland. Oh. Um, I don't get to save that. Yeah, so straight to resolve. Straight to resolve. I'm okay, so I take another. Not sure what I did with my damage die, but here's another. So I took the one. I really miss the extra wounds from Iris Stark and Polymer I used to get from Retinues. They feel fully fragile now. Mm. Well, um, definitely the Iris the, the Stark's place is not really, is not to fight on a, on a duel with, uh, <laughs> with the with Ray. Old Ray. <laughs> so I'm not going to lie to you. This is not their preferred place to be. Uh, so yeah, they are a little bit more fragile when it comes to like these corner case situation. Like when, when you find yourself in a duel. I guess with uh, Dwegom, you might find yourself in a duel a little bit more often than you'd like, or with Norris, let's say. Um, but, uh, but yeah, no, um, Red News was an important, uh, not having Red News anymore was an important update to the game. First of all, it made the game more accessible for all of you, mm -hmm. uh, in the sense that's about $100 cheaper for to build an army, which is super important. Ultimately, it has to be accessible. And what's more important is that it kind of highlighted, let's say, a lot of rules that should have been part of the of the characters to begin with. Yeah. How many characters, you know, you paid tier three tactical to get flanked? Because without flank, you wouldn't really be able to play to the efficiency that you'd like. So now they've just gotten, you know, natively on their profile. So that's a, a lot better. Fine. I've drawn my intemperate sorcerer who's yes. going to fireball your poor hoplites through my herald of fire. <laughs> Rerolling for his rerolls. Uh, looking for threes. Gives me a total of five at negative did you, two. Did you graft it in fire? I did, so let me test that. I'm okay. All right. uh, negative two. Two. Yeah. I think from the flank, yeah. Yeah. Two and three. And five resolves. I will lose. Uh, let me see. Eilon has resolve of three plus one four. I'll take another wound. All right. But that will mean another one. Now, if I lose one more stand, I'll be broken. I started this round with five, so I lost two. Okay. All right. So. I wonder what's next. The Phalangites. Now, the this, might, this might seem odd, hmm. but you know, at one last act of defiance, I will put the strategic stack. <laughs> Well, this will inspire them when they decide to go. This will inspire them. This will give them some heart and this will do something. Now, this is risky. This is very risky because you're going to turn their card and it will be the Iron Claw Drake. <laughs> you know something? When they actually activate, they will be inspired, even in death. <laughs> inspired as they push up daisies. <clears throat> I believe it's a dozen attacks from my Drake. He will inspire himself, Mr. Drake. Oh, I can't, actually, I can't because you're... Do I not get inspired from charging, or can I inspire myself while I'm in fighting? So, pike formation is when you're charging. Only when I'm charging. So I can inspire myself. I can hit on twos here. You know, I'm only going to attack ten times because I feel bad about... You should attack all the times. All the times? Do not feel bad about me. Uh-oh. Well, I missed twice. And you, you know, you know what happened. This uh, so the job that I do is uh, it's you're the keeper, and then if someone beats you on stream, they become you. So suddenly, you'll see tack like like uh, becoming me, and I will fade into. Does this mean I get to I'll write rules away. for conquest? I'll fade away. It's both a blessing and a curse. <laughs> I, I, I'm very well that way. We've actually had some amazing discussions on what it takes to write rules that inspire uh, people to play. How many? How many hits? Uh, it is. Ten hits with the Drake and five from the uh, Ray. All right, so minus is, two and minus three. All right, so the, the minus two. I mean, does it matter? Yeah, it does matter because the minus two I get once. Steve touching doesn't quite cut the mustard here. You know something? You know something, Doc? They did not die. They voluntarily left. <laughs> How about that? Said, We're done, sir. Thank you. Well, I am. Super, super pleased to say that I love playing with ironclad drakes. They're, they're fantastic. <laughs> All right. Trying to separate the Steve Dad. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. All right. Uh, on to you. 
Yeah, that will be uh, not the Phalangitas for sure. Ooh. And that will be the Eidolon, which will have nothing to do. Oh, great. Old Warriors will fight, inspire, and clash against you. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17 attacks. I'm really liking the Herald of Fire. Yeah. Uh, they're doing... Uh, Herald of Fire is quite quite interesting. Ooh, I love attacks. Oh. Uh, I'm more of a magma. You magma guy. Magma okay. guy, yeah. Burn. Although, although you know, there, there's always the. Um, I, I'm I'm kind of like torn between the two. I hit on three of them inspire, yeah. Yeah. One, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. But uh, uh, let's see. Oh, uh, Steve may have left you. Four, five, five. I am officially broken, emotionally, <laughs> as, as well as in terms of regiments. And my resolve of three. Excuse me, didn't know he was going. And that will die and shatter everything. <laughs> what? They left? They didn't die, they left. <laughs> he was a. Uh, uh, Live to fight another day. Right, right. You made a little deal. The Eidolon's like, you know what? I got a few coins. Yeah. I know you do egg home or poor. Here you go. Absolutely <laughs> destroyed, chat. Absolutely destroyed. That was and, intense. And now you'll see me slowly fading. <laughs> but you know what? To be fair, mm -hmm. this is your fault. The Dweg are powerful. Yes. And and you really have to respect mm -hmm. their their sheer ability to yeah. punch through when they need to. Definitely. Definitely. And uh, Definitely. I rolled really super well early on, which I think kind of stymied a lot of your moves, right? The, mm. the, the, the Therians just mm. kind of petering out was sad. I gotta start packing. You're right, Yogi. I gotta start packing right now. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, no, definitely. So uh, when, playing, when, playing the, uh, when playing with the city states, it's definitely very wise to bring a little, a little bit extra, let's say, a little bit extra Therians. You do need, you know, that extra thing. Um, I. How do you feel about the auxiliaries? Putting like a Therian actually in with your hoplites, I believe, or is it uh, no? It's, so uh, Thoracides will you get you a Therian? Yeah, a Hospice will get you into the uh, into the uh, hoplites. Yeah. Well, definitely. So there is quite a few things that you can start uh, doing here. Um, hoplites uh, perform quite well. Now I'm. Personally, I like having both phalang Phalangitas and Hoplites, especially after the update where uh, essentially the banner of the last duration was that what really made big blocks of Hoplites really strong. Yeah. But now that is part of your supremacy, of your, let's say, supremacy, that is very strong. Now, um, the ability with the Ari Stark uh, to be able to place another command card in the stack at the beginning of the round, that's also very spicy given the fact that you get to inspire after. So that's a good way to start working a little bit around the whole, you know, inspire. Uh, or, uh, yeah, they, they inspire, let's say, uh, right. issue. But uh, yeah, um, I really like I really like uh, Eidolon sometimes as, as, a, as a warlord. That hardened one is interesting. Yeah. You know, that, that uh, the Polymark really, you know, um, helped, uh, uh, helped with the hardened, sorry, with the uh, rerolls and the fight in the shade. So yeah, yeah, I will be looking forward one day for a rematch. Absolutely, anytime. Absolutely, anytime. I think that uh, I think I need some standards mm -hmm. for some some hold warriors. I think that this list was actually pretty sharp for what it was doing. Uh, so I'm yeah. really happy with uh, yeah. how the Drakes performed, both of them. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think I might want to try and stick another sorcerer on top of the Hellbringer Drake and see how that. That'll be nice. Yeah, for fifteen hundred points, that will be that will become a little tough. But uh, yeah, for 2,000 points, you can definitely try it. It's Ooh. really nice. Yeah. You can really pump out the firepower from just behind your, your hold warriors, just smashing things back. And that Herald of Fire, able to project the power of my sorcerer mm -hmm. right across the map, was massive. 
But thank you again. This was a, a really, really intense battle. I was a little shocked at how in well it came together. For my Ethereans grilling slowly. <laughs> they make fine burgers. They will be enjoyed by the entire city. <laughs> <laughs> Juicy, <laughs> tasty. Mm -hmm. Dweg, uh, I wonder what, what, what a Dweg puts on his burger. Probably something related to Drake. I'm thinking Drake. mushrooms. Probably. I, I'm thinking, yeah, some yeah. saute mushrooms. Folks, what do you put on your burgers? Any questions that uh, you have for us before we uh, pack her in? This well, was there, a There's some interesting questions. So, uh, Leo, what faction would be uh, the easiest to start playing Conquest? Um, so, I, I will tell you, I, I think that um, the... Benjamin, yeah. I do enjoy not being nice. <laughs> <laughs> the Hunter Kingdoms are, let's say, more straightforward in terms of complexity of rules. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely the army that I find yeah. is is really comfortable to play. Yeah, you if whatever your your army rules that you're picking mm -hmm. and like, the unit rules all kind of make sense together. You don't have to like puzzle things out in yeah. your head. So yeah. that's that's a good point without. That. And I like them both both in TLK and First Blood. They're quite easy to approach, very approachable there as well. Mm -hmm. What's the most complex army other than Wadroon? <laughs> <laughs> I think that right now, given the sheer amount of options that you have, I do believe Sorcerer Kings will take uh, a lot of use to. That's going to take some, um, some, some brain work the, yeah, to the, make the, sure, the Sorcerer Kings are, are a very complex army because of all the options you have, and the Nords is a very complex army because of the very tight balance you have to play on. Yeah. You're always between, you have to be at the, really at the right place at the right time at causing chaos but a little bit too much and suddenly it falls apart. I think I play Nords like a bit of a baboon, mm -hmm. which makes it a little bit <laughs> I got. I haven't quite figured out the Nords yet, no. and uh, I'm still working at that, the, but it's uh, been a lot of fun trying. The issue with the Nords is they don't play the way you would expect them to play, right? People mm -hmm. look at them and imagine a brawler army, right? Get stuck in, but they're actually a finesse army. Right. Yeah. Um, they were originally imagined as a finesse army, you know, raiding deep into enemy lines, mm. combined attack mm. on enemy units. Um, it, it's one of the things that we're discussing that maybe we we redesigned the army and changed the profile to a more brawler type army. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder um, if a um, like sort of a particular general could bring in that style without losing where yeah. where the the real core of it. Like you're saying that raider aspect, which. I mean, historically, that was how Vikings fought. They weren't good in a stuck battle. Like, yeah. they had won some, but that wasn't where they shot. Yeah. It was the, the the lightning strike gone before the cavalry arrives was the real... That's yeah. where they truly scared your enemy. So, yeah, that's, I love how much history and and color you bring to Ia mm. with, with the associations with all sorts of interesting cultures that you're bringing into these models um, ac across every single faction. And actually, the, the coming Sorcerer Kings have some really, really cool stuff that uh, speaks to lore from, what, India and Middle East and yeah. all sorts of cool places. Yeah. yeah. A, lot of, uh, a lot of fantastical, a lot of elementals, a lot of very colorful armies. I'm, mm -hmm. just, I'm just in love with it. Akshasas and the Jin and all sorts of cool stuff. Hey, Tak, how you doing? He looks so happy to be alive over there because I get to go to Greece. <laughs> Does it mean I have to walk to the airport now? No, 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 no. I promise you that's not going to happen. <laughs> you let me know, I'll get you to the airport. No problems. <laughs> anyway, it's been a fantastic time. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you so much for playing with us and expanding our knowledge of Conquest Last Argument of Kings and even First Blood. And uh, we really hope that you enjoyed tuning in and uh, checking out our presentation today. Um, like, subscribe, uh, hit up our membership. We have fantastic stuff in there. Uh, some exclusive things, some early access, all sorts of great, fantastic. Uh, the, the best part of it is our Discord, an amazing community of true happy geeks who are happy to help you out, get into all the fantastic games that we play. Um, and yeah, until we see you all next time, play on. <laughs>